Welcome back, everyone, to Nanalisa Dawn. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have an exhibition match between Atostic and Dime Friend, which I don't know if Dime Friend stream themselves, but I kind of doubt it. I haven't seen Dime Friend actually do a lot of streams recently. Might have just missed the notifications. Anyway, Dime Friend going for the Cloaky Factory, and Atostic going for what I would consider more typical on Alien Desert, the Rover Factory. Because Alien Desert is the map, is a flat map. It's flat. It's not got a whole lot going on other than a few hills here and there, a few spikes of the terrain. But beyond that, no, it's basically just flat ground. Although, admittedly, Glaives do fairly well on flat ground. Not sure if that's why Dying Friend decided to go for Cloaky Bot. I mean, it's a reasonably strong factory overall. I think what they went, wait, the way they went for Cloaky Bot is ultimately going to be the Knights. Because Knights got buffed a, fairly, a little while ago. And yes, indeed, we are getting a Knight in the opening queue. So Dying Friend definitely thinking, I'm just going to go for Knights. Just going to steamroll my opponent with lightning guns. They can't do anything about it. And we'll see whether or not Atostic figures out what to do about it. Because I'm sure they fought a lot of these at this point. I mean, it's not like the Knight has been an underused unit ever since it got buffed. It's been actually quite heavily used since it got buffed. And, well, that was kind of the point. First three Glaives coming in here. One of them managed to get rid of Metal Extractor. The other one managed to get rid of just a dart. Last one commits suicide. But hey, one metal extractor for one glaive isn't a terrible trade. Actually, in terms of overall money spent, it's actually a good trade. Not to mention the dart as well. So, you know, decent trades all around. Dying Friend doing a fine job when it comes to ha using their economy. Of course, at this point, they got another minute to wait for this night to be done because that is opening queue and it's going to take a little while on top of all the resource production being built up as well. But hey. Once that night is done, is it's not a lot that there's set up here for Atostic. I don't think they expect a night rush. I, I'm trying to think. I mean, because they're knights. They're single fire lightning guns. So the best thing I could see being done against them would actually be mass scorchers, which most players would be doing in the beginning anyway. Like scorcher dart or mass scorcher would be fine because of the fact that it is a one, it is not an area of effect lightning gun. That is the key thing about this. It does not deal AOE damage. So, you can swarm it. Of course, the glaives are going to make that a little bit tricky, but no, nah, they can be swarmed. And that is what's being done. A lot of Scorchers are being built up. That is the thing. Most Rover players are going to be going for Scorchers off the start anyway. Like, off the top, Scorcher Dart. That is the build. So, Knights kind of run straight into that. Honestly, I don't see this working out especially well for Dime Frame. Especially as they've also gone for the Ronin, and again, the Ronin kind of get countered by Scorchers. Kind of. It's a little bit tricky because of the way that Scorcher movement is harder to shift, but yeah, they, they get countered pretty pretty heavily. So honestly, I don't... Oof. Well, for the most part, but again, that's what I was talking about. It's a little bit harder for Scorchers to dodge because they are vehicles and they have, only, they have wheels. They have to turn. They have a turning radius. But, of course, with more Scorchers being built up and no support units, that knight is basically going to be destroyed pretty quick. I mean, of course, it will kill off one Scorcher at a time. So I would recommend something between six and eight Scorchers. And at this point, Atostic has four. I'm on top of the Fencers, which are not a bad idea. Though they will be at risk of being destroyed by the Glaive. So I'm not entirely certain that the Fencers are the best idea in this situation. I mean, this is where the knight is trying to go. Get the commander, take it out quickly, and it... Mm, ah, it's not going to succeed. In fact, it's going to be torn to pieces. Dime Freund is playing it very risky, but pulls away just at the last second. Do they have anything to repair with? I don't know if it matters, though, because the Tossix just tried to destroy their entire base, so you know what? It... There's the... What? Is that the one Conjurer? No, there's two other Conjurers, but... Yeah, another Knight coming in here on top of the raids. It just... Ouch. Atostic basically deciding, you know what? Screw it. My commander's doing fine. I don't need to worry about defending them. I need to worry about making sure the Dying Friend is forced to retreat. Of course, they don't have enough Scorchers to actually deal with the Knight effectively, so that's a little unfortunate. Defensors are doing a fine job pushing it back, but, but not doing a fine job actually defending, per se. Now, like I said, it would take a lot of Scorchers to take out that Knight. Though, in fairness, not 350, yeah. Definitely not for cost. Actually, wait. Ravagers. Just get Ravagers. Ravagers are fast. They have a ton of HP. They can survive the, the paralysis for a while. 
I mean, fencers are good. They deal damage. They're just kind of countered by glaze. But hey, you know what? Whatever. It works. Atosic manages to take a nice little chunk of the center. Time for an expanding a little bit to the north. Repairing that one knight that was going for the commander assassination mission. Well, I feel like Atostic's getting more and more well set up for this. Like, there's not a whole lot Dying Frontier has that Atostic isn't prepared to deal with. The only problem right now for Atostic is that they are accessing metal. Which looks like they're going to start dealing with fairly shortly. Honestly, at this point, I'd recommend upgrading their commander. Normally, I wouldn't, but well, getting level 2 is never a bad idea. And also, given the metal production they have, and given the fact that their commander has been a target, getting it to a point where it has a nice... I don't know, lightning gun maybe a good idea. Or rockets of its own. Just to get rid of the knight. That could work. Though, to be fair, Atostic doesn't seem to be too worried about this at all. They have the fencers. They figure, you know what? I can deal with the knights. I have fencers. I have skirmishing. I can just outrange them. Which is true, except for the fact that the fencers have to stop to fire. So, the outranging only lasts for so long. Seriously, I would recommend getting Ravagers. Well, okay. Scorchers are being got to. Also, good good move overall as a support unit. Stops the glaze from getting too close. And the fencers are doing fine against the knights. So Dying Freund right now is really just more focused on trying to get themselves kind of some sort of defensible position because that early knight has not won them the game by any stretch. Of course, with the right timing, this might work out. What is Dying Freund? Dying Freund knows that this army is moving off to the side. They know this is the right time to attack. And they are doing exactly that. However, Dying for his commander under some threat. Looks like a Tostic decided, you know, I'm just going to go kill off Dying for his commander, take out the southeast expansion. But that's at the cost of the center with all the Ronin coming in here, about a dozen Ronin on top of the knights. And thankfully for Tostic, they already had a defensive setup. That the singers, which are scaring Dying Front away, the more so Dying Front is being scared away by the possibility of losing their commander and losing their southeast expansion, which is what these Ronin are trying to deal with. But honestly, I think taking out the center might have been a better choice. Uh, the commander is probably okay for now, but the Ronin are going to take their sweet time to get into position. Scorch is going to be able to come in here and just flank them out completely. So the Ronin really don't have a chance of actually defending this. While at the same time, here come all the here come all defensers. All nicely in position to help deal with this stuff. Now granted, once if the Scorchers go down, then the Ronin will be coming back in to attack. But that's at the same time as all the center has been completely well defended. And nothing is stopping that from, from being held on to. Atostic, they have the center, they have a 20-ish metal per second advantage, they are using all of that metal, building a nice fusion plant too, just to make sure that they are able to use all the metal for reclaim. Like, Atostic is well prepared for the late game. Dying Freund, on the other hand, is barely managing to hold themselves together defensively. They have their commander hold up in a long enclave on the southeast, while the fencers just completely cut off everything to the commander. Without the support forces, that commander is basically screwed. There's no way of it getting out of there. There's no way of it really building up too much. The rest of the base is being destroyed as the entire defense force has been torn to pieces, turned into scrap, and I almost feel like insult to injury would be just send some of these masons over here and reclaim the lot, which honestly would be a good idea anyway. But yeah. Oh, hey, Dying Friend. <laughs> Join me on the stream. Nice. Oh, I mean, I honestly thought, I mean, the stats look like this would be a fairly even game. And to be fair, it was an interesting show of knights. And yeah, Ron, you're right. Ronin can't attack. I honestly don't know what their Ronin can't attack scorchers. Ronin are pretty effective against. Uh, well, it's kind of. Oh, I don't know. Really, more glaives would have probably just done the trick. But yeah, I mean. This is always the risk of casting a Dying Throne game is that it's always going to be... Well, actually, the risk is that it already was streamed. I don't know if this was. Dying Throne just likes to watch the stream, and I, I appreciate that. But I... Yeah, I never know what the quality of the game is before I start it. Again, I take requests. So, you know, if there's a good game you want to see cast, I'll, I'll do it. The Dying Throne throws in the towel, though, as the knights are... Really... Handily countered. So his defensive works fairly well... No surprises there. I mean, in large enough numbers, yeah. Scorchers worked fairly well as a support unit. So yeah, Scorcher Fencer. I feel like that's not really the most stable strategy. I feel like... I don't know. Because knights can get in position and stop that. But yeah, that is... No, seriously, if you look at the replay stats... 
you had a 56% chance, or 57% chance to win, Dying Friend, according to... So I guess the replay stats are just terrible. Well, the LO thing is not great. Because... Yeah, that... According to LO ratings, it was a dead even match. But anyway... And actually, wait, you made the... Like, and don't start complaining. You're the one who made the WHR system, so... Like... Yeah. Oh, you're right. Glaives are kind of destroyed by Scorchers. I'm not queued on requests. Actually, I have no requests in the queue. I have no... No one has requested any replays in a while. I mean, granted, I haven't been streaming in a while, so that kind of makes sense. I stop streaming for a week or two and it's like people stop... Actually, I don't know. Requests aren't super common, so no. I'm currently not queued on requests. Anyway, that... This is not the last replay, though. The last replay is going to be King's Dead and Ease Ride on 15 platforms. Another one that's statistically there, so, yeah. Also, yes, knights. Okay, but Diamond Throwing, knights aren't supposed to be broken. They're supposed to be... Uh, granted, they're not necessarily great, but admittedly, that's also not a great cloaky map. But, I mean, hey, if knights are... Knights are what they are. At least they're not... Like, I don't know, people worried about knights being totally broken after the last patch, so... It's good to show that, no, they are beatable. Although, admittedly, everyone's going to say that they're useless, but whatever. That's that's meta discussion for you. Anyhow, <laughs> for now, I'm going to take a short break, and then we'll be back with Kingstead and Ezeride on 15 platforms, which will be the last replay of the stream. So stay tuned for that. We'll be up in a few minutes. <laughs> 